Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can uh, you can get your feet wet here, and you should. Just diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. Cabot Finch, public relations and crisis management, and I'm here to help you. You'll start by building a Hammond creation lab. We've already started on an enclosure for you. You should just attach it to the side, but watch out for dinosaurs. <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> Let's focus on what you're here to do which is create dinosaur facilities on the islands we call the Five Deaths. Actually, Las Cinco Muertes, <laughs> because Spanish is the lingo of choice around here. You'll need to connect it to the pre-existing network of paths and the power grid. Now comes the real test, incubating a dinosaur. You'll start with a Struthiomimus. Select the creation lab and pick a hatchery bay. There's enough genome data for your first viable dinosaur. The machinations of the ambitious, undoing extinction, playing with nature's laws. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. You know we've learned so much, and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch, yes, the, the last time. There's always a last time, and a next. Life. It begins, the most precious moment, the result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations and unknowable combinations, chaos, all leading to a living, breathing, thinking being, an entity, distinct and unique. And now we, you, just manufacture them. So, well done, I guess. The Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment, and science. I've already nudged the heads of each division to reach out to you personally. They'll offer opportunities and incentives for you to be part of their team choose one of their contracts. It'll help you develop your facility. This is Lambert, head of security. Yours, theirs, and mine. Welcome to the islands. So here's our basic conundrum. We want to keep our animals under control while simultaneously encouraging instinctive behaviors because these animals have potential as combatants. Look, everyone's fear object, myself included, is to have these animals running free and loose in the park. But we can't exploit them globally without taking some chances. Contracts can be requested from the division heads inside the control room. Complete these to increase your reputation and gain additional revenue to keep expanding your park. So, one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote-unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more likely to benefit from them. Financially, I mean. But, like life, it's a balancing act. Each division is vying for your attention, and if they don't get it, they tend to take it personally.
Well done. And you'll notice absolutely no hint of sarcasm. Unless you listen real closely. <laughs> so what I meant to say is that completing that contract has raised your standing. Your reputation, if you will, with the security division. This means they'll be willing to give you more difficult missions. Lambert here. I've got a new assignment that I think is perfect for your skill set. Give it a once over, then let me know if you're interested. The research center lets you improve your park in various exciting ways. New buildings, upgrades, and more await. Glad to have you on board. As you can imagine, the animals in the various facilities are constantly probing for weaknesses in our security systems. They're smarter and more devious than people give them credit for. But I refuse to underestimate their capabilities. That's why I'm always testing and evaluating our security protocols and barriers. And this is where you come in. I've got to give this guy Lambert his due. He actually sees these animals as both opportunity and threat. I'm going to need you to extract enough DNA from fossils to incubate and hatch a dinosaur. This is the first phase of this mission. Carry on. Good! Your first expedition team is out. They'll bring back what they find to the fossil center for extraction. Your job is simple, really. Create dinosaurs which attract visitors to your facilities, brings in capital, money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities and create more dinosaurs, and there you go. A circle of life, development and resources, nature and commerce. See? Simple. The Fossil Center lets you extract DNA from fossils and amber in order to create new dinosaur genomes. Exciting! I'm Owen Grady. Owen to my friends. I've seen things I'd rather not talk about, but it hasn't dampened my commitment to the dinosaurs. The raptors, more generally, and me and Blue specifically. We have a special relationship, like what I have with Claire. Less complicated. Anyway, nice to meet you. genomes from fossils that have been collected inside your fossil center. That will increase the amount of viable data you have to create dinosaurs.
Ah, Dr. Dua. This is our new Director of Operations. I'm aware, Cabot. I'm Dr. Dua. I run the Science Division of our operation. Okay, you're going to need to build your reputation in the Science Division. Not easy with me around, but you'll manage. That means managing our dinosaur population and seeing that they are flourishing. Okay, next you'll need to incubate the animal in a Hammond Creation Laboratory before releasing and housing it in an enclosure. You'll also want to make sure we've got an ACU presence on this island.
Right. This next bit is gonna sound a little crazy because, frankly, it is. But we are gonna encourage one of the dinosaurs to breach our containment grid. We'll then react and see if our procedures and personnel are up to the challenge. Yes. So at this point, I'd like to take back everything I just said about this guy. ACU, or Asset Containment Unit, should be your first port of call to bring down a rampaging dinosaur. Acknowledged. Okay, we have our runner. Time to tag him and bag him. We're using less than lethal, but remember, that dinosaur doesn't know this is just supposed to be a drill. So watch your back. While I understand the need to keep our security as sharp as possible, this is not the way I would go about doing it. If you have a problem with how we keep you safe, Doctor, I'm happy to discuss it at a later time. Right now, we have our hands full. You'll need to call in the offshore transport team to safely move this dinosaur back to its enclosure. Contract time. Woohoo!
job finished. True and square. Look, the thing is, we're still learning where our boundaries are when it comes to keeping these animals under control. God knows they're working out ways to exploit our weaknesses. Guess we'll find out who gets to the limits of our abilities first. Us, or them. Ever vigilant. And that's always been the challenge of the Jurassic Industrial Complex. Exploitation versus security. The immense potential for profit and for violence. Bioengineering our dinosaurs to ensure their ongoing survival and success is something the science division can get behind. I've got an interesting opportunity for you to consider. It will allow us to work together to create life. Pure life. If you've been listening to Dr. Malcolm, then you know how important this is to us. And to me. I knew you were my kind of person. Inquisitive, driven, and I knew you couldn't resist this opportunity. So let's get started. Together, we can create a more authentic version of our dinosaurs. That means a complete genome. And I think you are up to the challenge. Don't disappoint. something that I myself have heard many times before. I don't know how you did it, just that you did. So thanks. No matter what anyone else says, science is what makes or breaks us. Admittedly, sometimes both. But on Isla Matanceros, you are making us and yourself look good. And that's worth a reward. We are making great strides so far. I believe I may be on the cusp of something wondrous, and I have you to thank, at least in part, for where I find myself. Now we need to incubate, hatch, and house our dinosaur. Then we will know if our efforts will have been worth it. Storm defense stations help protect your park's structure against storm damage. Useful, huh?
specimens, sorry, dinosaurs, are meeting expectations, but we want them to thrive. That's your next assignment, making sure our specimens are properly cared for. In other words, dinosaur welfare. The difference with dinosaurs is that they have no point of reference to understand humans, so don't expect much in the way of thank yous. I've been monitoring what you've been up to with great interest, and I'm a little disappointed that Dr. Dua came to you for this assignment instead of bringing me into the loop as she should have done. I'll discuss this with her later. Good. Build more power stations or increase your output. Lambert here with a new contract. I've spec'd it out, and I think you'd be perfect for it.
of anyone else I'd rather offer this contract to than you. Hmm? That's no lie. It's not really the truth either, but <laughs> whatever. The bigger you make a system, the more points of failure you introduce. That's the nature of chaos. I see you've completed that dinosaur sale contract. That's a job done. Like us, different dinosaurs require different diets. Make sure to place the correct type of feeder in an enclosure. I'm a red meat man myself. <laughs> Thank you. 
may have added to our workload, but the new buildings appear to be a success. Gosh, you got a sick dinosaur on your hands. It's time to treat it. Or what comes next, that's gonna be on your hands as well. People like to feel secure. That's our job. This contract enhances our ability to do so. I've done it. 
We are on the path to a pure strain dinosaur. This will definitely shift the paradigm. I can't ignore this accomplishment. Oh, with your help, obviously. That goes without saying. But under my direction. I think we make a good team. Let's do this again. I'll let you know when. I've witnessed Dr. Dua flail and fail before. Now with you, she believes she is on her way. Does she really think she can accomplish what I have not? I'm Isaac. I've been hearing good things about you. I'm in charge of the entertainment division here. What good is the world's greatest show if no one sees it? Don't answer. That's rhetorical and painfully obvious. What I'm saying is that we need people in our parks. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Numbers bring revenue, excitement, and opportunities. Now they have more to see because of you completing that contract. 
So you've got dinosaurs your guests want to get up close and personal with. The thing is, they can't. Construct facilities to increase visibility and keep visitors the right side of the safety glass. Knowledge is essential for us to properly do our jobs. That genome acquisition you completed keeps us moving down that path. Way to take the lead. Without exceptional security, nothing else here would be possible. That's our mandate. And on Islamat and Seras, you're showing the rest of us how it's done. You're deserving of this reward. There is a new job available, and I know just the person to do it. Science is our priority, but occasionally concessions need to be made in other areas. Visitors, for example. Check where we stand with them by referencing your visitor rating. This contract, this contract could really help us both out. You on my team? There's no stopping us. Way to get it done. Hey, it's Isaac. How you doing? I got some cool stuff you need to be a part of, so I'm putting it out there. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. We have one unlike any other on the planet. Theme parks rely on drawing people in. And what is more attractive than new dinosaurs? Well, me, of course. <laughs> yeah, no, what I'm saying is let's get some fresh dinos in the hopper. I don't know what's worse, treating these creatures like grist for the mill or propping them up as curiosities.
is what we strive to maintain here on the islands. We do that by making sure their needs are met. In a way, it's kind of like taking care of the dinos, just with more demands and less understanding. <laughs> Am I right? 